Thought I'd do a video on my World War II gas masks, respirators. So um, I'll just show you all the masks and I'll talk about each mask in detail a bit more. First mask is the DM40, or just M40. It was a civilian mask made in Nazi Germany essentially for civilians rather than soldiers although apparently certain sections like the Luftwaffe use this mask simple mask essentially it's a green normally green mask that you wear with head straps it takes a 40 millimeter filter that's quite wide and it has a flapper valve as an exhale valve next we have the DM38 or M38 it was the mass-produced Wehrmacht infantry mask um, used by most divisions of the German army actually and lots of countries have adapted it since then 40 millimeter mask very advanced for the time you'd turn it so you've got the exhale valve underneath the in filter intake there you'd screw a 40 millimeter filter in and then you can replace the filter easily this one's not in very good condition but they're quite hard to find these masks here we have a warden's mask in very good condition British basically wardens mask to be worn by air raid wardens, fire crews, things like that. Slightly better than the standard civilian respirator. Has a filter attached to the front here. There's the flapper valve for exhaling there. This uses glass. The German masks used a type of early plastic, some sort of film for the eyepieces, but the British masks are all glass at this point. Here we have a mark for uh, general service respirator or just sometimes known as a general service respirator GSRs these are um, these are like the mass produced infantry masks the Mark IV is the earlier one it's um, very similar to the Mark V and the other masks of this type uh, but the Mark IV is interesting they were coated in a canvas type material that has made them preserve much better than the other similar masks you have your filter intake there and that was a box you'd wear on your chest then you have um, the actual mask itself and this would be your exhale and um, voice diaphragm these work surprisingly well the voice diaphragm is on there and then you have two glass eyepieces now we have the mark 5 respirator very similar to mark 4 only difference is this one isn't coated in canvas and has um, a microphone intake on the right side similar to that of the um, warden mask if I just pan to that you can see there there's the same filter sorry not filter microphone intake on the right side this particular mask was issued to a soldier by the surname of Hughes which is written in the top of the um, haversack in general these don't preserve as well as the mark fours due to the fact that they normally had uncoated rubber where the mark fours had the canvas material here we have a light anti-gas respirator or a lag mask these were um, the ones being introduced at the end of the war for paratroopers and the British Army used them for about 10-15 years before switching to the S6 respirator um, very similar face piece to the other masks the only difference is this has um, on the right side a filter intake rather than the hose intake that's that 60mm filter intake you might recognize the mask as being very similar to the Canadian C3 the so C3 was modelled off, off the third generation of these masks. This is a Mark II uh, respirator. There was three types. The Mark I, which is the prototype, and that was one that wasn't really mass produced. It was just the prototype model. Then you have the Mark IIs, which are these, which are quite common, which um, were the general produced ones. Then later on you had the Mark III, which looked very similar to the Canadian C3 respirator. And then after they finished production of the Mark III, eventually they went into production of the S6. Hope that's been interesting for some of you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer the questions. Um, and if you check out my gas mask blog, I'll put the link below. You can see basically all the masks in more detail and find the videos on my YouTube page.